All right, here we're being asked to simplify the square root of 15. Now, there's one rule that's important to know for these types of problems, and that is the square root of a times b can be rewritten as the square root of a times the square root of b. And the reason why this is helpful is that if you can break this down, the square root of 15, into a series of squ smaller square roots being multiplied together, you might be able to simplify, and I'll show you how. However, to break down this 15, we have to use a tactic called prime factorization. And what we're trying to do is find a series of primes. So primes are numbers that cannot be divided by anything else other than itself and 1. Let me write down some primes. 2 is a prime. 3 is a prime. 5 is a prime. 7 is a prime. 11 is a prime. So can we somehow find a series of primes that multiplied together equal 15? And the way to do this is pretty simple. You just go through this list, and you see if any of them divide evenly into 15. So let's start off with 2. Can 15 be divided by 2? Well, 15 is odd, so it cannot. All right, how about 3? Can 15 be divided by 3? Well, yes, it can, because 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Sorry about that. So what does that mean? Well, that means that we can rewrite square root of 15 as the square root of 3 times 5. OK, Fifth, square root of 15 is the square root of 3 times 5. Well, 3 and 5 are both primes. So there's nothing we can do to simplify this anymore. What we were looking for were a pair. So for example, if instead of 3 times 5, there were another 3 in here, 3 times 3 times 5, then we would be able to pull out the 3 from under the square root sign. But since we don't have a pair in this case, square root of 15 is the simplest form that you can write this in.